How's it doing guys? Welcome back to the Cordmat. Today we are starting a new series uh, on a designer data structure. So many times uh, you have faced like uh, uh, we have been asked to create a different data structure uh, compared to what we have within the, our uh, languages. For example, like within the stack queue or tree, we have been asked to modify the some of the uh, already inbuilt methods to just uh, improve the complexity of the time as well as in the space. All right. So in this series, we will try to uh, take some of the examples. We will try to create some of the design uh, data structures and we'll understand how can we improve the time complexity as well as the space complexity in terms of using the underlying data structure that we have with the, within the languages itself. So today first we will uh, understand with the mean stack before we proceed. If you are new to the channel, please do subscribe. As we solve a lot of uh, competitive problems, as well as you may find useful information related to the, your next interview. Now let's get started. So here we will try to understand the mean stack that is we, we are going to implement. Now let's understand what the problem or what the design we would like to create. All right. Now what? Are, all right. Now what is the problem statement that is given to us? So if you see here, design a stack that suppose push pop top and retrieving the minimum elements in a constant type. So we would like to implement this push pop top and uh, retrieve get minimum element in a of one complexity. All right. So how this uh, functions will work. So if you see push, so that is going to be push element X onto the stack. Okay. Uh, pop removes that element on the top of the stack top will give you the element it will not remove the element and get minimum is the another uh, function that we need to write and that retrieve the minimum element in the stack all right so if you see this three we know that in our standard stack also this three will be there because uh, we already have that push pop and top and that is also going to be in a constant time because underlying data structure that is used in a stack is going to be your uh, linear data structure which will be your index base you can get any of the element and that way you will have uh, this three function is going to be a constant and constant time complexity now this one will we will see how can we get the get minimum in a uh, constant time complexity all right now let's understand with the one example that is given in the problem itself so this is what the class we will create uh, and within that we will write our methods that is push pop and get minimum so if you see here first we are pushing these three elements so first you push two so your stack will be look like this way okay so first you have minus two and then you will have zero and then you will have minus three in your stack okay now at this point we are calling a get minimum so if you see in this three element we have get minimum as minus three so okay fine so it will return minus three and then we call a pop on that so when we call a pop that means this element is gone that we already removed now we have this two elements okay now again we call a top so that that way we know that our top is currently at zero so we will return a zero that looks to be good and then again we call a get minimum okay now when we call a get minimum now we do not have minus three but we need to give a minimum out of whatever the elements we have in this text so in this case it will return a minus two so this is what the implementation we need to do if you see uh, we are good with this three elements or three functions because we know that these are going to be a constant type how it is going to be constant time let's say uh, for for example we will take let's say as an underlying data structure as error list or any of the list okay so you know the index of your start and last position okay and how the stack works is it will be last in first out okay so your top or your pop will always works from the backside or your element whatever the element you will add that is also going to be backside you will add it so whenever you have a new elements let's say here in this case so you will start adding this way your error list will start filling in this way and whenever you call a top or pop you will take this element and you will remove it so this operation because you know the index it is a linear data structure so it will be always a off one now how to get a this get minimum now let's understand that one first. 
so what all possible ways we can uh, we can uh, implement this get minimum function so that we can uh, return a minimum in a constant time okay all right now let's understand the first approach so for to hold the data let's say we are using our standard stack data structure so we will so we will define our stack of uh, integer and that is called as a data that is going to be hold your data exit data so when you have a stack itself as a data underlying data structure so this three operation we can perform directly on this data push pop and top because that uh, only the difference we have is this get minimum function which is uh, um, not uh, present in our normal stack data structure so so to implement the uh, get minimum what we can do is let's say uh, we have this data structure to store the data let's say we to get the minimum we will uh, have one more variable which holds the minimum data within this class okay so whenever every time you do a push of your x so at that time what we will do is we will compare with the minimum value of the previous we have calculated so let's say the previous mean and x let's say x is smaller as compared to the mean we will update your mean with the x and whenever you call a get minimum we will return this minimum value okay so here let's say in this case our stack data will look like this way minus 3 0 minus 2 so when you first element let's say you have first element as a minus 2 so mean we will uh, first initialize with a minus 2 okay and then you push 0 so 0 is again greater than the mean we will not update it and then you push a minus 3 so at that time minus 3 is a smaller than minus 2 so we will update with a minus 3 all right now whenever you call a minimum you will call minimum and get directly from this variable and return it okay now here what problem we are seeing is let's say you call a get minimum you return minus a that looks to be good now let's say you call a uh, pop from the stack okay so when you call a pop from the stack this element will be removed okay now you have these two elements and with this two element if i call a get minimum the output should be minus two okay but if you see we are only storing a data in the integer and that is having only last minimum was minus three that is the last we had okay we don't know after this pop what all uh, what is a minimum out of uh, remaining elements okay so this will not work in the case where uh, your top element will be removed and we may not have a, any history of the rest of the minimum data okay so to store that we need to have some kind of a history for the minimum also the way we are storing the elements in the data uh, stack same way we need some kind of history to be maintained for the minimum also so that we can return every time from the uh, that history data so when you have this removed also this get removed so we can take a second minimum from that history data that was previously for this set of two values now let's uh, understand that one also to store the history let's say we will also maintain one another stack that is called a minimum stack mean stack or rather we would say okay and that is a mean stack okay now let's say i have this data that i am going to push to the my uh, stack and how the mean stack will be look like so what mean stack will hold the data is whenever you push the data it will check the top value of the element whether it is a uh, smaller as compared to the, your current push then it will uh, then it will not push uh, that current value to the mean stack otherwise it will push whatever the new mean uh, data you will get it will put into the mean stack also okay now let's understand with this given data we would like to push it okay so this one is your normal stack okay and let's say this one is your mean stack okay now first we will put one so we do not have anything so we'll our mean stack will have one now when you put a minus two it will check with the top value that is a one so that that is a smaller as compared to the uh, what we have on the top so it will push that data to the mean stack as well as same data we will also push to the 
our main data so all the data will go in the data but we will put whenever uh, it is required to have uh, to update that mean or not okay now when you have a zero so we'll put a zero whether zero is uh, greater or not so in that case we will update a zero uh, as zero is greater as compared to the minus two we will not update so we'll put will will keep the same minimum for the zero so what we are doing is ultimately when you are iterated from here to here we can also see the what all minimum for those iteration okay so let's say next we will uh, add minus two so minus two is again the same so we'll add a minus two okay and then when you have a minus three so minus three for minus three we have minus three is smaller as compared to minus two so in that case we will update uh, our stack okay now when you call a top or when you call a pop from that so we'll remove this as well as we also remove a value from this one so and whenever you need a minimum you will just go to your mean and take a top from that you will return that value okay so with the extra memory of the extra stack we are getting this get minimum in a of one time complexity okay now here we have still chances to reduce the uh, your memory how let's see okay so when you push a one for example first time so at that time our minimum we do not have any minimum or you can say minimum is we initialize with the max value so the first minimum is going to be your first element so we have updated one now when you push your second element that is a smaller as compared to your top value so again you push that to the two okay now when you push a zero uh, at that time you again check for the with the minus two but zero is a greater value so for zero we do not need to push this number okay so we can remove this entry because we do not need to push this value because if you see let's say if our stack is having only this many, this many numbers so out of this it clears with this two number let's say it clearly says that when you are at the, uh, this many numbers three numbers our minimum is minus two so let's say if we remove a zero we pop the zero then also our uh, whatever the aim that get minimum will suffice that you will always get a minimum as a minus two when you remove a minus two then we will remove the minus two also from this stack okay so that way we do not need whenever your this number is higher as compared to the uh, mean stack we do not need to store uh, or we do not need this duplicate entry okay so this can be reduced okay when you have a next number that is let's say you are pushing a minus two so at that time your top is same as minus two so in this case we need to push that entry because there could be possibility let's say uh, you have uh, this this kind of stack minus two zero and minus two okay now let's say if first we will not push that duplicate entry for the same value so for example let's say you when you were at here at you call a uh, minimum so at that time we return a minimum as a minus two so it looks to be good okay now for example you pop this element so when you pop this element you will also see whether the this element is same as what you have top at the minimum so if it is same you will also remove this element because this is no more a minimum okay so you will remove this one and when you remove your stack will be only this number of elements you have in the stack and at that time if you call a minimum it will return a wrong value so in this case whenever you have a duplicate entries we will store entries for both the elements okay so when you have minus two again you will store minus two so when first time you will pop this element this will be gone okay we will remove that one but again still you have one minus two because that says that there is one more uh, smaller element or having a same equal, uh, same element value that is minus two and that is going to be your minimum number okay so this way we are not in the worst case we take same size as what we have our data but in a in a normal scenario the overall uh, space for the your mean stack will be less as compared to what 
you have in the data okay and this way if you see every time we are not taking any extra time to get the minimum we just go to your mean stack and then pop or take a top element and return it all right now let's see the code for this so first we define it this two uh, stacks that we discuss just now one is mean and one is data stack okay now let's first understand a uh, push how push will work so when you push uh, uh, integer number so you will directly push in the data uh, data stack there is no close for that when you push when you would like to push to the mean stack we will check whether it is in an empty state then also we would like to push or the take the top element and whether it is a greater or equal to the or current element in those two scenarios we want to push it okay now let's see the pop for the pop function it is a pretty uh, simple one okay so in the pop uh, first we pop the element from the your data stack okay and we also check whether this popped element from the data set is the same as what is a uh, top element in the main stack if it is the case then also we would like to remove it from the main stack so we will do call a mean dot pop also okay now top top function is a pretty simple just go and uh, go from the data stack and take a first or peak element from that data stack and then return it okay and minimum is also a simple one because we have whatever the uh, extra burden was there that we have handled with the extra stack so we will every time whenever you need a minimum value you will just go to the min dot pick and return that value all right so that's it in this session hope you guys enjoyed it please do like share and subscribe all right see you in the next video till the time bye bye